Once upon a time, there was a king by the name of Kawar Pal. He had four wives, Pairavi, Panumati, Sunanda, and Gayatri. Out of these four, the king was most fond of Pairavi. One day, the king decided to go hunting. He discussed his plan with his wife, Pairavi. Darling, I'm in the mood to go hunting today. But not alone. I want you to accompany me. I want to spend the whole day with you. That's an excellent idea, dear king. I haven't stepped out of the palace in a while. It will uplift my mood if I go outside with you. Just give me some time to get ready. Bhairavi had a kind and soft heart. She did not approve of her husband killing an innocent animal for sport. Before they left for their hunting trip, Bhairavi went to the carriage and took away all the arrows from the king's quiver. After some time, they reached the jungle. Bhairavi told her husband, Kawar Paul, What an enchanting forest! Look at the greenery all around, and the melodious sound of so many birds and animals. My heart is singing with joy. Why do you kill these innocent creatures just for fun? I don't like it one bit. Hunting has been a royal sport for ages. It is a matter of pride for the brave and the champions. The bigger the animal, the better. Bhairavi, just so that you know, I only hunt animals that are aggressive and will attack. The reason behind this is to keep our people safe from getting hurt. Bhairavi was trying her best to engage the king in her sweet talk. That way he would get distracted and miss spotting any animal at all. Suddenly, they heard the growl of a tiger. My queen, there is a tiger around us here. Be very careful. I was so engrossed in your sweet words that I forgot I was here to hunt. I'm going to go after this tiger. The king picked up his bow first, and then his quiver. He was shaken up to find it empty. The tiger came closer to the carriage. The king kept the bow down and got off the carriage to engage in a manual fight with the tiger. The king was a fearless man. He launched a fierce attack on the tiger. Yeah! <laughs> After a long and grueling fight, the king finally succeeded in defeating the tiger. But in the process, he was badly injured. When Bhairavi returned to the palace with the injured king, no one could believe that it was even possible for King Kawar Paul to get hurt on a hunting trip. He was a skilled hunter who had always won. The first person to question Bhairavi was Banumati. How did all this even happen? How did the king manage to get hurt while hunting? Queen Bhairavi explained. I can't see poor innocent animals being killed for no reason. That's why today, just before we left for the hunt, I emptied his quiver of all the arrows. After listening to this, Queen Gayatri responded. Are you telling me you put your husband's life at risk just to save an animal? What kind of a wife are you? You are aware of how much he loves hunting, don't you? And yet, you put your stubborn beliefs over his wish? What kind of love is this that pushes your own husband towards his grave? Bhairavi had always looked up to Queen Gayatri. Her words pierced through Bhairavi's heart, and she was immediately regretful. The king's health had started deteriorating. Queen Bhairavi defended herself. You can blame me all you like. But first, please let us focus on the king's health. Queen Sunanda finally spoke up. There is only one doctor who is an expert in healing animal-related wounds. But he lives 50 kilometers away from here. It will take him a while to get here. Queen Bhairavi had some basic knowledge of potions and medicinal herbs. She came up with a suggestion. Call the doctor quickly. 
In the meantime, I myself will prepare medicine for his wounds. Bhairavi started preparing medicine for the king. She took some herbs, leaves, bark, and roots, and created a medicinal paste to apply to the king's wounds. But the paste only made things worse. The king's temperature rose instantly to be much higher than before. The other three queens lost their temper at Bhairavi. They scolded her for her attempt at healing him. What is it that you want? Do you want him to die? We were under the assumption you were trying to make the king feel better. But your medicine has made his health worse. If you didn't have the right knowledge about making the medicine, why did you even try to make this useless paste? Why have you put his life even further in danger? You knew the doctor was going to arrive anytime soon, didn't you? Only God knows what will happen now. The doctor finally arrived. He did a thorough physical examination of the king. He then declared, The king is perfectly fine now. Who has prepared this paste that is applied to his wounds? Everyone took Pairavi's name and pointed at her. Then Queen Gayatri spoke. If the king is perfectly fine, why is his body temperature rising consistently? The doctor explained. The paste makes the body warmer first. That's how the medicine works in removing the toxins present in the wounds made by the tiger. Yes, it is a slow remedy. It takes time, but it does the job wonderfully. After listening to the doctor, the three queens thanked Pairavi for her timely help. The king recovered completely in a matter of days. Queen Pairavi shared her feelings with him. Forgive me, my king. You had to pay a heavy price on your health because of my opinions regarding hunting animals. You like hunting, I don't. I feel very sad when I see innocent creatures being killed for fun. For that, I should have refused to accompany you on your hunting trip. I should not have removed the arrows from your quiver. Your actions may have been wrong, but your intentions were never wrong. If you feel so strongly about me not hunting and showing mercy to these innocent creatures, then I will abide. I promise you that I will only kill an animal if it is violent and a threat to my people. There are times when wives will take extreme steps just to make their husbands leave a bad habit. It is important for husbands to listen to them and analyze the motives behind their actions. If something is discussed logically and works for our own benefit, there is no harm in agreeing to it. If you enjoyed this story, please like and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get future updates. And don't forget to comment!